September 1960. A record attendance of nearly 88,000 people waited to see if a team from Northern Ireland could bring the All-Ireland Senior Football Championship across the border for the first time. Then the record-breaking crowd sent up a thunderous ovation and the huge arena blossomed with the red and black flags of County Down as Kevin Musson led the men from Morn onto the field to play their first senior All-Ireland final. They could have no more worthy opponents than the champions of champions, the men from the mighty Kingdom of Kerry, already holders of 19 senior trophies. After the inevitable photographs, the traditional parade of the team behind the Artane boys' back. Here, Paul Sheehy is followed by Sean Murphy, Dwyer, Jeremy O'Shea, Lyons, McMahon, O'Connor, Tom Long, and the other Kerry Stones. While Kevin Musson leads McKay, Doherty, Lavery, Lennon, O'Neill, O'Hagan, Dan McCartan, Kerry, and Walker. The patron of the association, Most Reverend Dr. Morris Archbishop of Cashel, is escorted onto the field by President Dr. Stewart to meet the captains of the teams before 88,000 people stand to attention for on power on or shoot. The ball is thrown in and the big game is on. A little fumble and Curry are awarded the first free of the game. Mick O'Dwyer's kick is cleared by Dan McCartan. He sends it to midfield from where the Northerners' first attack is launched. This too was cleared and the play swiftly swung up and downfield. After another Curry attack, Rice sends a long kick to Haddon at midfield. Haddon tears through the monster rear guard and scores Down's first point. Back in the down penalty area, McKay clears his lines, but Mick O'Connell grabs the ball and there goes the equaliser, one point all. Patsy O'Hagan passes to Paddy Doherty. Doherty bursts his way through, but he hits the post. Back at the railway end, a curry free is saved by Kevin Musson, but he throws the ball instead of fisting it, and tight line puts Kerry in front, two points to one. The men from Morn come storming back. A shot by Morgan is saved by Cullity in the Golma. Out it goes to Lennon, and now he equalizes Two points all. Then Paddy Doherty puts down ahead with this free. Three points to two. And to show that Down could boast more than one sharpshooter, O'Neill added a similar score. Down four points, carry two. Down were hitting a purple patch right now, and Jim McCartan stretched their lead to three points. And still they come back for more. Tony Haddon puts County down four points ahead. It was not all one-way traffic, however, and the Northern defence was soon called upon to give a display as superb as was ever turned in by even the mightiest curry man of the past. Paddy Doherty then coolly sends over another point for down, but surely it is not going to be all that easy. The famous tag line reduces the arrears to three points. Another attack, another free, and the line narrows the gap still further, only two points between the teams. And the same to you, says Paddy Doherty, as he quickly negatives the Kerry score. But the line had the last word in the first half, and again he reduced the leeway to a mere two points. By Yokada Raw Foes, Kayaku a veach an bua in erin a dal. E go gani gadun a via gimiach don cia duir a glicia cianis a cinch na heran nu e shanun duir a chiri a via hoir an fihu kreach. 
at the start of the second half, down one the breakaway. The Kerry defence clear. In it comes to John Dowling. On to Mick O'Connell. And it's another point for Kerry, only one point between the teams now. And a cheer up, there's more coming. Here's a Seamus Murphy with the equaliser. They are level for the third time, seven points each. Was it true after all that Kerry were still the kingpins of football? Could down crash through the hitherto insurmountable barrier at which Antrim, Armagh and Derry had failed? If so, they must produce something extra, and soon. With the teams still level, that something extra comes all right. Watch for it. Jim McCartan sends a high lobbing ball into the goal mouth. Johnny Cullity flops it, it's a goal. was just the tonic needed. Carey gets possession at midfield. Tears down the touchline. Kicks in. Jim McCartan sends to Sean O'Neill. Sean crosses it into the... Paddy Dart is there, but he's pulled down. It's a penalty. Please, gentlemen, you must stay outside of the 21-yard line. Paddy Doherty takes the kick, it's another goal, down are two goals in front. Now there's no let up, the seemingly impossible is about to happen, a six county team is winning and in convincing style. The desperate Kerry defenders concede another free, and to Paddy Doherty that means only one thing, another point for the county down. And that's the final. Down have done it. Now is their hour of unforgettable glory. Never before were there such enthusiastic celebrations in Croke Park. Never before in over seven decades of GAA history was a victory so widely acclaimed. Down had changed the seemingly unalterable course of history and humbled the greatest football county of them all in the process. Kevin Musson has become the first man from across the border to receive the Sam Maguire Cup and to be congratulated by Uthron Nehera. What a momentous occasion this is. Not only for Kevin and his teammates, not only for the wildly exuberant supporters of the stars of the county down, but for every man in Ireland. The unrestrained scenes of exultation continued for several minutes after the game had ended and the men, women, and the children too, from the mountains of Morn, rightly decided that this was a fitting occasion for a special parade of their own. And every heart in Ireland, especially those of Kerry, the fallen champions, echoed the foremost sentiment of the day. Care the